We are engaging the New World Order at point-blank range with huge effect. Police confirmed Bilderberg 2013 to take place in Watford, UK. I'll be there. Establishment media spins Al-Qaeda use of chemical weapons in Syria. Now that it's come out, and they've had to confirm that it's chemical weapons the West gave them. Wow, it's even come out. They're trying to spin it. Well, since, Al since we attack Syria with chemical weapons, we should blow up all of Syria. How dare Syria let us bomb them and do nothing? Man, I've never heard of something that nasty. Eyewitnesses. The younger Zarneb brother did not shoot Boston cop. It was friendly fire. You remember when the cops shot nine people last year in uh, New York and they kept reporting it was a citizen that did it? And then they even knew it and then now it's a footnote. People, have, I've heard them source nine people shot by, you know, in New York. Yeah, the cops did it. You know, what about cops shooting innocent people in, in Southern California with the Dorner thing? Video, students submit to Obama's security force bag searches. We're going to play the video and audio of this later. This is insane. Remember Obama's domestic security force? Well, almost everyone out on the street, again, in California with Mark Dice, submitted. Go, it's just a volunteer security force. Make sure you're not a terrorist. And they would let him search the bag. I mean, this is, this is what sheeple training does. And then it's a bunch of guys in black uniforms strutting around going, Hey, you're not supposed to have a gun. You're not supposed to be a man. Only government is. We have diplomatic immunity. We're the government. They're trying to make all government have diplomatic immunity. And what is that? That's a con game. I'm above the law because I say so. The UN says it's above our countries because the bankers set it up and got our Congress to agree to that. It is really unprecedented. So that's some of what we're going to be talking about. We're going to look at the immigration bill, which uh, senators are on record saying will cost trillions. And, and, and it's not an immigration bill. It's a total legalization. And it's the voting bloc for the Soviet Party. The Republicans, I guess, are kind of like the fascist party. The Soviet Party to just have a group of people that go, okay, here's your free welfare. Now vote to take their guns. Okay, I'll vote to take their guns. I've got to be honest. If, like, Switzerland was bordering us and... There was 30 million people coming in who were like going to try to restore the republic. I'd say, okay, I don't care if they had green skin. In fact, if people in Mexico had like blue antennas, but were into freedom, I'm such a libertarian. I would, you know, it was like aliens, but they liked freedom. Oh, sure. Here, you know, that you, you really come in peace. Well, here, just come on in. And uh, I mean, literally, I just don't want to be a slave. And let me tell you, I mean, I don't want to live in Mexico. But all Mexico's got is its, is, is, its, is, its, is its fake nationalism run by a bunch of El Jefe, more billionaires per capita than any country. And now the globalists are going to merge Canada, the U.S., Mexico. And they have security agreements, look them up, to, quote, use Canadian and Mexican troops during civil unrest in the United States. That's Washington Post. Look that up from like a decade ago. And, and then, oh, and they have the Olympics a few years ago in Canada. U.S. troops were there running checkpoints in Canada, helping. And the Mexican troops came and helped with, in Katrina, where the military was confiscating the guns. They helped. I mean, they're just helping. And I've got the NRA video where they document that most of the guns that are bought by the cartels are full auto and are flown in by big banks. That's come out. In fact, you guys print me Wachovia, Wells Fargo laundered $376 billion. It's, it's Bloomberg. I want to show that later. Because, see, it, 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 yes, it's true. Mexican citizens are getting semi-automatic guns, handguns, rifles to protect themselves. And when you guys print me that, too, about uh, vigilantes restore order in some Mexican cities, they get to America, they get guns, they go back, and they fight the cartels and take back control. And that's why Obama's upset. Because they can't run their extermination. I mean, it's not enough to kill 60,000 Mexicans under the drug war in the last six years. You know, Obama wants to make sure only the government and the cartel has those full automatic machine guns they're buying from Germany mainly. Jakari Jackson here, and I want to talk to you for a second about water. You know about ProPure, our flagship water purification system. But check out some of our portable water filter products at InfoWarsStore.com. The clearly filtered water pitcher. Also, for those of you on the go, we have the Athlete Edition Filtered Water Bottle and the RAD Eliminator Pro Filtered Sports Bottle that removes radiation. And keep in mind, we have replacement filters for all of these products. The ever-popular grab-and-go-back favorite, the Life Straw. 
the Crystal Quest shower filter system, and the Aquapod kit, great for mass storage of water. And while you're at the InfoWars shop, pick up a copy of our latest book, 31 Days to Survival. You can find all this and more at the InfoWarsStore.com, and don't forget it's your support that funds our operation. Sign up for our free newsletter at InfoWars.com forward slash newsletter. So much is happening. They're trying to completely gut American sovereignty and legalize. When they say 13 million illegals, it's more like 30 million illegals openly bragging it so they can vote to take our guns and basically bring us into the North American Union. We're going to be talking to William Gein, the head of Alipac, um, you know, probably one of the most important real lobbies up there for national sovereignty. We're going to be talking to him here in just a moment. But other big stuff is happening. Uh, obviously, I'm going to talk more after he leaves us today with uh, the situation in the Benghazi gate. Uh, we're going to be looking at that. Uh, they've got uh, credible whistleblowers to speak tomorrow in a hearing. Now, folks, I already told you what happened. We know what happened. It came out. They stood down for eight hours while Al-Qaeda killed everybody in the building. The five regular people and the two SEALs sheep dipped in the CIA who refused orders to stand down. They had to fire the head of CENTCOM over because he threw a fit. They fired, it's, it's like 10 or more other top admirals and generals. They had two Predator drones and a C-130 uh, surveillance craft out in the Mediterranean. They had drones right above it. They sat there and watched. The Benghazi security force, this is not blowback. They went in there and they killed him so they could say the heat-seeking missiles, they had a warehouse there full of heat-seeking missiles. It's like 18,000 missiles, 10,000 of them heat-seeking. A bunch of them were reportedly there, according to all our sources, and that's now months later. We told you this first. By the way, get um, we need to get all our sources back on that said all this. It was uh, Colonel Schaefer, Lieutenant Colonel Schaefer said all that, and uh, the guy that was in Tripoli a bunch, and in Benghazi, a former NSA, um, Wayne Madsen, and others. And, they, and, and, and look, we know, eight-hour stand-down, eight-hour stand-down, while the CIA, Al-Qaeda security force, People are like, Al-Qaeda, CIA? Yes, they run Al-Qaeda. The CIA is run by foreign banks. I don't know how I have to explain this to you. It'd be like if aliens landed and they had blue skin and they were commanding our military and our military had collaborated. And I'm going, hey, the aliens are commanding our government. The government's illegitimate. You're, but they got, they're wearing uniforms. But see, they don't have blue skin, so it's not obvious. It's foreign banks. Benghazi stand-down denials don't stand up to reason. That's Forbes. I mean, this is getting bigger and bigger and bigger. So I'm going to get into that. Uh, Senate passes Internet sales tax bill amid opposition from conservatives. I mean, this is incredible. It's a track. The power to tax is the power to destroy. It's a total control grid. The cybersecurity bill is. This is an internet sabotage system as the Google 100 times faster fiber optic goes in. When that fiber optic is in and nationwide in about three years, it's going in Austin. It's been put in several other major cities. We notice they're taking over Midwest first. Why isn't it California? Why isn't it New York? They know everybody's fleeing to the middle of the country. It's an enemy operation. They're, they're putting down their fiber in Austin and other areas. Austin, they admit, is the Agenda 21. Take, they have maps. We've shown it on TV. When we go to their meetings, how they're going to take over here. They even describe it as their operations and their dominance operation. I mean, this is, this is a technocratic takeover. But they go, oh, we drink beer at the campus and act trendy. Uh, we, have, we have beards and wear, wear you know, rainbow socks. Uh, uh. They go behind closed doors. General, prepare operations. Bring them down. I mean, you know, th this, is a, th this is an enemy operation spies. Excuse me. <sighs> Believe me, folks, you better look into this. <sighs> Man, they're sophisticated. But if you're aware of their operations, we can defeat them. So you got that going on. I'm going to talk more about the Arm March. My thoughts are exactly what Mike Adams has said. It's at Infowars.com. Arm March on D.C. 
announced for July 4th is Adam Kokesh crazy or courageous? And he shows both sides of it. Why? You have a right to do that. The D.C. Heller did rule you could have guns, but they're still saying they'll arrest you. They are the tyrants. They are in the wrong. But it, but does this give them an opportunity? Well, so, so, so I'm saying, you know, when I say be there with video cameras, I'm not saying be there armed because I can't morally tell people to do something that's so dangerous. That's a decision you've got to make. So I'm talking about that in the third hour because people have, you know, are spinning it saying Jones is endorsing it. I am not endorsing it. I am, I, am, I am studying it, looking at it from both sides. You understand that? Because I, I respect Lou Rockwell. I respect Adam. Um, but Adam does pull, you know, pure stunts. But his argument is he pulls stunts for liberty. I get it. Fortune favors the bold. There is a tide in the affairs of men when taking up the flood leads on to fortune. Our fortune is liberty. I get it. I get it. But at the same time... When people are like, I hope you're mad enough to be there with your gun, bud. See, don't punch my buttons. I'm man enough to play this smart. I'm man enough for the long haul. I'm man enough to go all the way and do what's really dangerous. But I, 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 I'm studying it. And it resonates with people. And just the idea is, is, is part of the animating contest of liberty. Now, we've had multiple senators, I'll show these articles while our guest speaks, say it's going to cost trillions. It, 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 it is the North American Union. It is the end of our country. You can't go to Mexico. I talk about Mexico because that's 80% roughly of the illegal immigration. I can't go there and have free babies. I can't go there and become a citizen. Jesse Ventura has tried to become a citizen, and they've told him no. A former governor, Jesse Ventura, you know, his, 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 his daughter can't come down there and have a baby free. But see, America has so much hospitality and the authoritarians guilt everybody, not to save Mexico that's in horrible tyranny, a collapsing failed state. Look at how that's hidden in plain view, not to help them. No, to bring all of America down. The globalists admit they want you poor so you can never stand up like Mexico that has more billionaires per capita than any other country in the world. They have more billionaires in the U.S. Not per capita, period. Because you've got one-tenth of one-tenth of one-tenth of one percent. I mean, literally, it's less than a dozen people that own the whole stinking thing. And if you get uppity, police in black uniforms drop by and line you up and shoot you. I've seen the videos where they line people up and shoot them, and it's not even in our news. Okay? So that's what's coming to America, and I want freedom for all those people. But... Instead, they've hyped up nationalism, La Reconquista, La Infosora, the reconquering, America's evil, all the problems of Mexico or America. Well, it's the globalists are part of it, but not me. And this is the takeover. What William Gein was just talking about is true. The real renaissance or Western liberty coming out of Greece and then Rome, and then, of course, Rome became corrupt, no longer a republic, and then in the Dark Ages and then Europe has been the main driving force of liberty worldwide in the last 500 years. But the ideas are what can be transferred. But it's true, these third world populations have been taught their own nationalism and by the media to racially identify. While the United States is taught to be inclusive and not to identify, but that was done not to create unity. That was done to create balkanization and compartmentalization. You turn on MSNBC, it is... It is the total Democratic Party Ku Klux Klan hour. But, you know, uh, all whites are bad unless they submit to everything the New World Order says. That way you make political issues of open borders, taking your guns, socialist health care racial, when it shouldn't be racial. We're all human beings. Do you see that? So they don't want to export freedom to other countries. America now exports torture and corruption and government drug dealing to other countries. And then they blame what's good about America for all of those problems when America has been captured. Quite frankly, the nanotech, the genetic engineering, all the craziness that's going on is going to far outstrip this immigration issue in the future. I mean, uh, they're going to release bioweapons, you name it. They're going to change things very, very quickly. Uh, I want freedom all over the world, from Africa to Latin America to Europe to Asia uh, to Australia, to every Pacific island, I want humanity to, you know, have better goals and, and ideas of building a future. 
But the globalists have an ugly view of humanity, and they want to collectivize things, not to even make you better, but to dominate humanity and then reduce humanity's numbers, sterilize uh, the planet, uh, most of the people, uh, bring in GMO. I mean, it, it, when I look at this plan, it makes you believe in the devil because it's so wicked, it's so destructive, it's so bad even for the elite zone kids. Uh, and I don't see them getting away with it. We're going to start the next hour, and I've got to get into the Benghazi situation. And then I want to get into the latest on Syria. Uh, West provided chemical weapons to Syrian rebels. That's in the RA Novostat. That's the official Russian news. Uh, and I don't just believe what they say. I, I knew that months ago. That is an accurate report. Eyewitness uh, says the younger brother, uh, you know, the bomber, he's convicted. You know, no, no trial needed. Uh, did not shoot Boston cop. That's what witnesses are saying. That it's friendly fire. And you saw all sorts of friendly fire with the Dorner thing and in New York shooting nine people. We're going to get into all that. That is all coming up. And we're also going to get into an NRA video dealing with uh, what's happening in Mexico, where the guns are really coming from. So all that and more uh, coming up and uh, basically forced inoculation of your school children in Texas. This is happening all over the country. They go, well, your child agreed to have an abortion. They made the decision. Your child, you know, you're... Your 11-year-old in California d decided to get all the vaccines, but they're not of age of consent. I'm their parent. You're not anymore, Jack. <laughs> By the way, in Mexico, they don't ask. They forcibly inoculate, and they forcibly abort, and they forcibly sterilize. Oh, and you notice me, the white, uh, you know, devil, because uh, you know, the media said so, because I'm white, being white's bad. You notice I'm saying don't abort Mexican babies here or in Mexico. I want to fill their head full of liberty. I want them to own guns. I don't want to become rich. I want them to open companies and be doctors. And I want your kids, no matter what color they are, to go to the stars. But that's not going to happen if we keep this new world order uh, you know, going forward. We've got to bring it down. I had tried everything. I'd cut back the amount of food I was eating. I was lifting weights and jogging, but nothing was working. My body was literally starving for minerals and trace elements as well as key vitamins. And as soon as I had that, I immediately could eat half of what I was eating previously and be satisfied. Now, there are hundreds of great products at InfoWarsTeam.com, but I want to point out the three that have helped me lose 37 pounds in just two months. Products like Beyond Tangy Tangerine, Pollen Burst, and Rebound when I started taking the Tangy Tangerine and other products every day, I lost more than 37 pounds in just two months. Now that's results. I want to challenge my listeners to go to InfoWarsTeam.com and to order just three of their products, and you will see the changes in the way you look, feel, and in your appetite almost immediately. Start your journey to health and wellness today. InfoWarsTeam.com You didn't build that. Somebody else built that. Barack H. Obama. You didn't build any of it. It's not the individual, it's the collective. Well, what is the collective? It's a bunch of slaves run by the technocrats. It's like the New York Times promoted, UN promoted zeitgeist movement. People go, Alex, you're just not intellectual enough to get it. A big central computer will direct where we work, what food we get, and what we do. Boy, that sounds like total slavery to me. By the way, who programs that computer? You just don't get it. You just don't get that. It's so intellectual. Look, this old man made models of science fiction cities, Alex. I'm like, wow, all the communists and fascists always promised all the space age stuff. But all they delivered was hell on earth. I've, I've actually seen the stuff a hundred years ago. You're just recycling that? You don't get what intellectuals we are, Alex. And then I said to the Zeitgeist guy, I said, look, you know, let's come back on. I didn't like we had a big fight five, six years ago. Come back on. Explain to me how I'm wrong. You have to correct. I never said that you should go to, you know, a re-education camp that I would be re-educated. And I went back and watched the interview, and he says, you'll be sent to a re-education center. You'll be re-educated if you don't accept. And I, I called him back, and I said, but I can play it. He goes, I'm not looking. You apologize for that and these other five things. And I will come on. Can you imagine walking around? It's just like the NPR people and Obama and all of them. They just walk around going, we're master planners. Man, I, I mean, look, I'm a smart guy. 
And I have trouble running my own life and keeping myself in shape, somewhat of shape. I sat on my ass for years, excuse the French, and, and running things here. And I mean, I got a lot of energy. And man, let me tell you, I work 18 hours a day a lot of days. Okay, and I'm sick of people, government, bureaucrats, all of you. Arrogant cops walking up going, who do you think you are? Like I'm supposed to be scared you got a gun and a, and a, and a, and a, and a suit. Freaks me out. Freaks me out. I mean, I know history, man. I know Danger Will Robinson. And it's because good people have become so compliant. Um, good people... Good cops have gone along with letting bad cops, you know, run things. We have just decided everything's corrupt. And that's just the way it is. I'm just going to have a good time. But you know what? We need to pull back from this and just think we're alive one time. Are we really going to let the worst elements of every form of society run things? And I want to ask the establishment something. I know you're all competing with each other and you're all scared too. So you're just trying to jockey the operation so that... You come out on top. Look, you're not, none of you are coming out on top. And when, um, something else I told a reporter about a week ago, when everybody sells out, there, there's not even any power in it. Even if you're a cynical bad person, what did the devil say? It's better to reign in hell than serve in heaven. It's better to burn out than fade away. But what if you're in hell? What if you're in a system run by the devil? It's better to reign in heaven than serve in hell. That's another lie of the devil. You don't serve in heaven. The saints reign in heaven and cast their crowns at the feet of God and don't want it. Because when you really rule, you know it's a responsibility and you then have discernment and wisdom. I will tell the New World Order this, and I know it in my heart and soul, from the foundations of eternity, you will never taste your world government. You will not extend your lives, and you will die trying. You have already failed. Authoritarian control freaks throughout history have sought to make populations dependent the United Nations openly has talked about using food as a weapon against the third world and the industrialized first world. State Department Memorandum 200, developed by Henry Kissinger, called for destroying the food capacity, not just of the United States, but every country in the world, so they could use food scarcity as a political weapon of control. Just a decade ago, less than 10 million Americans were on food stamps. Four years ago, it was 25 million. It's now reached almost 50 million. Socialist health care is designed to destroy our health care system. The establishment wants you to be a bunch of cowardly, dumbed-down people who can't stand up for yourselves. That's why they're rushing to try to restrict citizens owning firearms. Because since the early 1990s, gun ownership has gone straight up while violent crime has gone straight down by 49%. And globalist-controlled strongholds like Chicago and New York, where they've taken the citizens' guns, have the highest crime rates in the world. What am I getting at here? The system doesn't want you to be self-sufficient. That's why I promote the fact that you should go out, buy firearms, and go take lessons and learn how to use them. I want you to stand up for your birthright of liberty and freedom. During a serious meltdown, they're going to tell you, hey, you want food? Turn in your guns. And that's why we need to put the globalists in check. And then finally bring them to checkmate by being self-sufficient, by being prepared, by having a garden, by learning how to can your own foods, by having friends and family and community that will stand together. But at the heart of that is having quality, storable foods. And that's why I went out more than a decade ago and found the very best food company to be my sponsor, eFoods Direct. They're the company that I personally use for my emergency food storage preparation, whether it be for natural disasters or the tyranny that is intensifying. So give them a call, 800-409-5633. That's 800-409-5633 or efoodsdirect.com forward slash Alex to find the weekly and monthly specials. But uh, they're always running the specials where you can get the free six meals, 
and the eFoods Direct audio CD put together by the experts in storable foods to answer all your questions, the eFoods planning guide, the eFoods brochure, the eFoods catalog, plus um, six free meals, creamy potato soup, tortilla soup, and cheesy chicken rice, so you can sample the high-quality storable foods from eFoods Direct. They've got a bunch of other specials. The two-week food supply provides one adult with 81 servings of healthy, delicious, storable food for 14 days. The one-month food supply provides provides 192 servings for 28 days. And then there's the one month family food pack. It will change the way you look at the food in your pantry. Every time you eat one of these meals, you are eating healthy, delicious food and saving a lot of money. The three month food supply, 576 servings of storable food for 91 days. And the one-year food supply will provide you with 2,304 servings of healthy, delicious, storable food for one full year. Your meals are as delicious and nutritious tonight as they'll be in 25 years. Bottom line, there's a bunch of specials at eFoodsDirect.com forward slash Alex. You can also call them at the toll-free number on your screen, and they can send you a catalog with all the specials detailed and tell you about the weekly and monthly specials that they're always running eFoodsDirect.com forward slash Alex to find all the specials or call the toll-free number. And so in closing, when you buy from eFoodsDirect.com, you are supporting the radio broadcast, the nightly news, the magazine, the films, and everything we're doing. Because we're not like MSNBC or Media Matters that get government and corporate funding to bring down America and bring in tyranny. We are funded by our sponsors and you, the viewers and listeners, that support them. Again, that's eFoodsDirect.com forward slash Alex or 800-409-5633 and when you're also visiting InfoWars.com or PrisonPlanet.com you can click on the banners to take you to the weekly and monthly specials. It's like the Hank Williams Jr. song A Country Boy Can Survive because you can't starve us out and you can't make us run because these boys were raised on shotguns. Well, there aren't really a lot of good old boys left anymore, are there? And those that are out there are demonized and are enemy number one by Homeland Security. And good old boys come in all shapes, colors, and sizes. They're people that aren't chumps who understand that they're going to take care of their family and that nobody else is. They're people that understand that if somebody else is taking care of them, that makes them a slave. And that the government doesn't want you dependent because they want to build a great future for you. They want to get you dependent so they can social engineer us. So the answer is get self-sufficient, become men again, and tell the New World Order to go straight to hell. Alex Jones signing off for InfoWars.com and eFoods Direct, our great sponsor. Judy Powell, co-founder and communications director, parents, guidancecenter.org, is going to be joining us. She's actually a friend of the family. She's down at the Capitol right now. At the bottom of the hour, she's going to pop in. They're trying to pass in Texas and other states. They've passed it in California to forcibly inoculate your children. What it is is uh, basically uh, the state says, well, your 11-year-old your said they want an abortion or your 11-year-old says that they want to take these vaccines. Of course, your 11-year-old can't go decide to go get drunk with somebody. Your 11-year-old can't decide to get in a van with a man that drives by the front yard. Hey, little girl, hey, little boy, come get in the car with me. But when you've got a bunch of serial killer, child molester, scum running the government, that's what they do. And they are scum. They're getting rid of parents. They're saying the state runs your children. Should I play clips of them saying that on MSNBC? They had the courts three years ago in California say the state is the, is the guardian, not the parents. It got overthrown in federal court. But they are pushing this. This is who these flaming freaks are. And anything they support, you got to be against it. They want open borders, you got to be against it. I can intellectually tell you why that's a bad idea to have open borders. They want our guns turned in, I don't want to turn them in. I can intellectually show you why it's good to keep your guns. They want you to take vaccines. They're bad people with a bad history, caught carrying out eugenics, giving people syphilis, you name it, radiating foster kids. Boy, a known group of killers, you don't put something in your body, they're telling you put in your body. They're a known group of scum. Our government's been hijacked, so I'm against vaccines. And I'm against Agenda 21. What do you think? It's a foreign banking scam to shut down everybody but them so only they can operate. 
We're fighting a global mafia, and they can think up anything. They create the issuance of money and credit. That, so they want to shut down production because that's what gives them real control. It's not about money. It's about power. It's about domination. It's about keeping us the little ants in line. Remember in the um, Bugs Life? Or is it Ants? What, what movie is that? Bugs Life or Ants? Yeah, Bugs Life. You're like, hey, boss, why are we going to stand up to the ants? We got plenty of food. And we got plenty of food here. We don't even know to make those ants collect food for us. And he goes, those ants outnumber us 100 to 1. And if they ever figure that out, it's over for us. It's not about food. It's about power. Let's ride. They turn their wings on and fly back to dominate him. He goes, quite the motivational speaker, don't you think? <clears throat> I'm watching every form of classical stinking evil run rampant. They're building FEMA camps. They admit one year they spent $5 billion. When was that? Like 2006 when they declassified it. $5 billion in a geoengineering program. And last year they announced, guys, type in uh, uh, $10 billion for geoengineering. Oh, 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 but then I go, okay, so you're adding it to the jet fuel. Here's the patent. Even the pilots don't know. And then aerosolizes it. And, and why are you doing that? Well, we don't want to tell you, but maybe we blew holes in the atmosphere when we detonated all those hydrogen bombs in the 60s in the upper atmosphere. And then they had a plan to try to blow up the moon. And then I have writers call me and go, do you really believe they tried to blow up the moon? Do you really believe that they, uh, that they detonated the U.S. alone over 100 hydrogen bombs in the upper atmosphere trying to blow up the Van Allen radiation belt to get spacecraft through it? And I just go, uh, and I just, I just look at the reporters now and go, no, you're right. I, I made that up. And they're like, really, you did? And I said, yeah, man, yeah, man, whatever you want. Whatever you want. Because I can't deal with it anymore. We have let every crazy person, every nutcase, every globalist get control. And no one will say no to him. Mark Dice, I, I want to get to this. If I don't get to it now, I'll play it on the nightly news tonight because i got a guest coming up. In fact, we'll cue that up. We'll play it up after the guest comes on. Mark Dice went out. And he went out to the campus. And he said, hi, I'm with Obama's domestic security force, volunteer security force. I want to search your bag to make sure you're not a terrorist. And every person let him search their bags. He, he was wearing a shirt that said troll on it. Had a troll on it. He said, I am a troll. Hi, I'm a troll with Obama. I'd like to search your bag to make sure you're not a terrorist. I'm with, his, I'm with Obama. You say Obama. Folks, these people, if you said Obama says slit your throat, I'm telling you, some of them would do it. Because their whole identity is, I watch TV, I do whatever, Obama. Obama says turn my guns in. Obama says eat GMO. Obama says have open borders. Obama says Obama says Obama says Obama says Obama says. Obama's a teleprompter. I mean, it is. You're saying you have the clip ready now? All right, let's, let's just go ahead and play some of that now. I mean, it's up on InfoWars.com. Paul Watson wrote a story about it. You got to see the video of your radio listener. And, and, you know, you can go out to him and say, we want Nazi Germany to take over America to take the guns for Obama. They go, oh, Nazis for Obama. Yeah, I'll sign that. Because, and, and, and then he talks to the guy and he goes, now you're sure about that. You want to ban the guns and put them, you know, arrest the gun owners and Nazi takeover. He goes, man, you don't have to convince me. I understand. And he's like, he just looks at Mark like, because <laughs> to that guy who has no power in his life, it sounds pretty powerful to lock people up in a camp. I mean, that's sexy, man. I mean, these people are just pathetic, begging to be overrun, begging. Here's the problem, though. There are a large portion of us that are awake and know what's going on, and you can call us crazy all day. Yeah, we're crazy like a fox. We're crazy awake. Let's go to Mark Dice's video. He's got one where they say, all of them say, ban the First Amendment. He goes, we're going to uh, arrest the Tea Partiers and ban their First Amendment because they, they don't like Obama and he needs to be the boss. And they go, yes, yes, I, I want to sign that. This is, so, this is everyone in Southern California that he talks to, all of them. We go out in Austin. Let's ban water. Yes, ban water. Let's take everybody's guns. Yes, let's take everybody's guns. Because it's real simple. I'm trendy. 
We got to go out and say hi. Well, well, I think we already did it. We got to edit it. I haven't seen the video yet. I think they went out last week, did they? Or uh, and uh, shot a piece um, saying, you know, post birth abort, uh, post birth abortion for the earth. You know, for the earth. Obama wants to uh, to abort babies up to age three. Mm -hmm. And I guarantee you, they're going to sign it. Oh, really? Abort babies for the earth? Mm -hmm. Here, uh, let's go ahead now. You can't ever blame the Germans anymore, folks. Okay, I mean, people follow orders. You get a tyranny in, it's over. And they're trying to get it all in place right now. Let's go ahead and go to this clip. Take a quick look in your backpack, just checking for explosive materials in the wake of the wake of the Boston bombings. We're just making sure that uh, nobody's carrying any uh, harmful or potentially hazardous materials on campus. Okay, you're, you're clear to go. Thank you so much for that. Take a quick look in your bag, make sure that you're not carrying any explosive materials in the wake of the Boston bombing. What is this for? <laughs> uh, thank you for, uh, for not being a sucker. Uh, hey, sir, excuse me, sir, one second, stop. Just need to take a quick look in your backpack, make sure we're not having any uh, potentially hazardous or explosive materials in here. Are you serious? You're stopping? We're just part of the uh, Obama Citizen Security Volunteer Force. Just in the in the wake of the Boston bombings, we can't be too sure this is a black backpack. Okay, you're clear to go, sir. Thank you. Wait, are you serious? No, we're just, we're just, we're just showing how suckers people are, and they'll just sit and obey and willingly let their Fourth Amendment be violated. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh my God, I can't that guy just Excuse me, sir. Just need to take a quick look in your bag for make sure there's no explosive material. Stop one second. Just need to make sure that there's no explosive materials in this bag or anything. All right, that's enough. Hazardous. Full video up on Infowars.com and Paul Watson's article. Um, Californians let Obama domestic security force, in quotes, search their bags. And then he goes out and does it on the boardwalk. And the police come over. And go, well, I guess you're saying it's voluntary, so okay. But people don't like it when we do this. And, and, and again, they're in uniforms with a gun. And, and, and now in Austin, they go, oh, we're searching everybody's bags randomly on Lamar. TSA, feds out of their jurisdiction, aren't even sworn police. Out there with Austin police searching. And, and, and then you say no to them. They're like, how dare you say no to me? It's exactly the same deal. It's asinine. And... We have another video I'll play some of uh, coming up after the break where they sign petitions, every one of them, to ban free speech. And they speak English. These are white guys, black guys, Hispanic, you name it. I mean, they're like, yeah, we're going to ban the Tea Party from their speech. Yeah. Yeah, and we're going to, you know, because you're not allowed to talk bad about Obama. I mean, he, he needs to totally run things now. We're going to have authoritarianism now. And they're like, oh, absolutely. They're, and they're like, that, yeah, the, people are causing a problem talking bad about Obama. Yeah, let's... Uh, Let's, let's ban the First Amendment. Let's arrest them. And these are people having conversations, making eye contact, clearly audibly saying that they're going to do all of this. And California, they've, they've won there. We're on the radio there. There's some good people up there. Uh, but, uh, and look, California's going bankrupt. They love it. They're going to take the entire middle class's money, and the ultra-rich that are exempt are going to, of course, move out of California. And this is what they do everywhere. They've now got taxes above 75% in, in, in France, and the government on record is exempt. You heard me. They're exempt. Folks, I got a correction to make. I said Wells Fargo and Wachovia laundered $376 billion in drug money over two years, according to federal documents that Bloomberg covered. It's $378 billion. I always say $2 billion less for some reason. $378 billion. We're going to show you that news article again in a moment. We showed it last hour. Uh, they were supplying the aircraft, uh, the weapons, e e everything. And we pulled up some of the news articles, and I got an NRA piece that also gives its sources, where the Mexican drug cartels get at least three quarters of their weapons um, they buy from the Mexican military or they buy that come in on international flights. A fully auto, uh, grenade launchers, you name it. There it is, banks financing Mexico gangs admitted in Wells Fargo deal. Uh, who's Wells Fargo? It's Warren Buffett. Yeah, Warren Buffett's the real gangster, folks. He makes Capone look like a, a schoolboy. Warren Buffett has gotten hundreds of billions of dollars, look it up, of bailout money. Just type Warren Buffett, biggest beneficiary of bailout. And now you've got to buy insurance from him. That's why he's got record profits this year. He runs things. He's El Jefe. 
El Gordo. Warren Buffett, champion of bailout, also leading beneficiary, McClatchy News. So now you know. But document can't please. Obama blames in Mexico days ago. We've been covering this. Obama blames U.S. gun owners. And I'll be honest with you. There are a lot of guns from the U.S. going into Mexico that weren't shipped there by Obama to blame the Second Amendment. And I say, great. Criminals are going to have guns. Government's going to have guns anyways. I've seen the numbers. The, the, the semi-autos, the shotguns, the handguns. Mexicans are getting them and taking them home to protect their families. And, and, and by the way, you can pull up the articles. Mexican vigilantes are restoring order in city after city. Vice News has covered it. You name it. So they hate it. Criminal Obama and the criminal drug cartels run by the CIA in many cases. That's come out in court. They hate it. So they hate the fact that the Mexicans are getting guns. I mean, what are they going to do if the Mexicans get guns to protect themselves? Then the cartels, see, the cartels will only attack you most of the time if they think you're not armed. And they demand money off people to let their kids go to school safe. Even poor people, they're shaking down now. Mexico is totally imploded into a hell. And I say more power to the Mexican people to get guns and protect themselves. You know the answer to free Mexico? Give guns and firearms training to every family in Mexico, and the problems would be over very, very quickly. You look at China and places that are under hellish control, it's because they've taken the guns from the people. And only government has the guns. North Korea, you name it. Tyrants hate guns. Let's go ahead. They hate guns in your hands. Let's go to this NRA piece, breaking it down. Here it is. We don't care about your laws here. We can get weapons anywhere. We get weapons from Honduras and El Salvador. Majority of the weapons are not coming from the U.S. Three quarters of the, the weapons that the cartel gets is supplied by the military. Corruption in Mexico is not a problem. It's an institution. It's a business for the government, for the military, and for the cartels. Why would you stop the business when it's working so well? The worst of their society coming here to America to prey upon our innocent citizens. And this isn't a problem. The federal government has abandoned us. Do I think the border is secure? Hell no. We've been driving down this border road here for about 10 miles. Have you seen a border patrol agent yet? The border patrol is not on the border. I know that border, I think, as well as, as anyone. We turn on the TV and Janet Napolitano says... It is as secure now as it has uh, ever been. My, my course, question. Senator, please. In my opinion, it's borderline treason. Just traffic through here, unstoppable. The agents, we don't have enough. Oh, absolutely. I carry a gun everywhere I go. We're looking at human smuggling, drugs, terrorists coming across our property. From Syria, from Iran, from Turkey, from China. My wife comes home from the grocery store and a woman's head is in the front yard. Is this America or is this Iraq? National security should not be a political game. And these jokers make it just that. For us and my family, our safe haven has been destroyed. And that is unforgivable. And I don't know how this government is ever going to give that back to me. To slap in the face of the citizens of this great country of ours, to slap in the face of the people that have fought for this flag that we represent. I fear for my grandchildren what they are going to be left with. It's our right to being stripped on a day-to-day -day basis. Angry, you betcha. Surprised, no. No president who has the best interest of this nation as a nation, as it was created, would ever, ever do something like this. These guys ought to be criminally tried for what they're doing to this nation. Everything we love about America, all the freedoms our forefathers fought for, we'll be right back. All of it is under attack by Barack Obama. No kidding. So pass this story along, then join the NRA. Absolutely. We'll be right back. Stay with us. Man, I tell you, anybody who says they're bored because they watch TV all day and the false culture, if you're awake, folks, you're not bored. The world, the technological developments, the good, the bad, uh, the incredible things unfolding, the the unspeakable things going on. I haven't even gotten into Benghazi, and I, and I really should. The hearings are tomorrow. The indication we're getting from the Republicans is they're going to try to score some political points, but actually not do anything. 
uh, because they're the ones, you know, with Obama saying attack Syria, use Al Qaeda against them. They're they're all up to it in their eyeballs. So they'll criticize Obama for not giving support to the ambassador and letting Al Qaeda kill him when the State Department hired the Al Qaeda group, brought them, you know, brought them in to overthrow Libya, and that was the group they hired for security at the safe house and the weapons cache. Down the street, they had a big military torture center. Again, Obama's continuing the torture. <clears throat> and it's just an example of there is no Democratic Party. There is no Republican Party at the top. They're a bunch of crooks. But the mainline Republicans and the Democrats are all attacking the proto Tea Party that came out of Ron Paul, myself, and others. That's the group they're going after, constitutionalists, because the Constitution the Bill of Rights, the Declaration of Independence, common sense, and not laying down to tyranny, being uppity, sits incontrovertibly against them. There aren't many populations that won't put up with being slaves. The Afghans won't do it. Uh, there are uh, areas of Africa where people have never really been totally taken over. Um, there are a few areas of Mexico where nobody's been able to take over. Uh, areas of Chiapas and things, because it's really just natives down there. It's like Native Americans uh, who are still down there. You know, pretty much, you know, same thing as the Comanches or something. Everybody else is being assimilated and taken over by the globalist corporate board. And bottom line here, ladies and gentlemen, is the New World Order is not taking us over to make us civilized and bring us into the future. They're doing exactly what was done to natives in this country. Put you on a reservation, use bioweapons against you. Use cultural death against you. <clears throat> Overwrite and destroy your culture. This is what the globalists are doing. The globalists have their culture. It's psychopathic control of society, the destruction of the family, medical tyranny. So we're going to get into eyewitness. Uh, the uh, Zarnab brother, the one still alive, did not shoot Boston cop. It was friendly fire. And Watson goes into all the other examples of where they've done friendly fire and tried to frame people for it. Very powerful uh, and that's in mainstream news. Cop must have known a little too much. Uh, and our cops knew too much. And then can, I mean, the whole thing's a cover-up. It's not just that. You add it all together. Uh, also, uh, West providing chemical weapons to Syria. Uh, that, that's coming out in mainstream news. We're getting into that. Uh, we've got uh, a little bit on the Benghazi. But, 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 but Lindsey Graham and others are like, this is really the dam breaking. That's how you lie to somebody. You know, it's like... Um, you bust in with some guy in bed with your wife, and he says, "Oh, uh, this is the dam breaking. You've real. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go come clean for for you right now. I'm gonna admit everything." You're like, "Oh, really? You are? Yes, I was. I'm a, I'm a gynecologist, and I uh, I dropped by here tonight uh, to uh, do a medical checkup on it for free because I just want to be a friend." I mean, I mean, I mean, that's what Lindsey Graham's doing. He's like, "Now I got the dams breaking here." There was total systematic failure and stand down for eight hours on accident. Obama, you did a terrible job. We're going to give the State Department more diplomatic funding and more security funding. How dare you? And Obama will say, I could have done a better job. You're right. Not, well, we hired Al-Qaeda to run security and we ordered a stand down for eight hours while they killed everybody inside so there wouldn't be any witnesses that we gave them. 10,000 heat-seeking missiles because <laughs> we're planning to use those on the West to bring in martial law. And so, yeah, we killed the ambassador. You bet we did. And we'll do it again if we need to. No, no, you don't want the public to know that. And it may have been a neocon double cross. Some of my experts think that might have even happened. And there was a, a group within there that told Obama just keep sleeping and they did it. I don't know because all these Democrats make it about Obama. There's no way he'd do that. There's no way he'd... Oh, really, when they bomb a couple hundred people and kill them to kill one bad guy, they call it collateral damage. They will kill people all day, including each other. Don't you people get it? Tyranny isn't sexy. It's not cool. It's not fun. Visit InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. When you're on the site, you can also tune in 24 hours a day to my daily radio broadcast. There's also a free iPhone app to listen to the syndicated radio show when and where you want.